In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your cookie policy. So to begin with, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new plugin to your site. So you're going to go to plugins and add new. And then up here in the search box, you're going to type in cookie notice and compliance for GDPR. And you're going to see this one right here and you're going to click on install now. And once it's installed, you're going to activate it. Okay, so now the plugin is set up and activated and we're going to come over here and click on cookies. And then we're going to click on add compliance features. So what it's going to do is it's going to do a compliance check. And you don't even have to wait for this. You can click on sign up to cookie compliance. So it's going to do a live setup. And you're going to choose right here your options. I like to do the private, balanced, and personalized. And then I'm going to display my privacy paper and privacy contact as long as you have a privacy policy there. And then banner design, if you want to adjust the banner, you can adjust it by clicking on these options. I like to leave them as is. And then we're going to, but if you want to change the colors, you can apply the setup. Now, once you apply it, it's going to ask you to create an account. So you can create an account. And go ahead and put your password in. And check I have read and agreed to the terms of service and click on sign up. It's going to ask you to select a plan next. So you're going to select your plan. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and do the basic. If you need more information, you're going to have to go and upgrade to the professional or the yearly. But in this case, I'm only going to do the basic. So I'm going to go ahead and choose basic and then I'm going to click on confirm. And that's it. So now if I want to go to the application, I can now log in. Should have saved my password here. Okay, so you can see that right here, it's already gone ahead and it has embedded my app ID and app key. So I really don't need to do anything else after this point, but if I want to edit it, I will have to log in. So I have to go back and get my password for this. All right, so now I have to do a forgot password. Because my computer didn't save it. I'm also verifying my email. And I think this time we'll generate our own password. And that's good. So now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to log in. This time I'll save my password. Okay, so it gives you a step-by-step -step how to configure your banner. If you want to go ahead and go through that, you can. I'm going to come over here and click on configuration. I'm going to make sure that both GDPR and CCPA are both checked. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go through these different things. So one of the things that I want to do is I want to make sure that this says what I want it to say. And it does. And down here, I want to put in my privacy policy. So I'm going to go to my pages. And I'm going to go ahead and find my privacy policy. Let's make sure this is not private.
All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And I want it to open in a new tab. If you have a do not sell, you can go ahead and click that as well. I'm gonna leave all this the same. And I wanna go ahead and enable a couple of these. So I want it to block any visitations until the visitor consent is recorded and then reload the page. So those are the two things that I wanna do. And again, I wanna make sure these are checked on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and publish now. And it should be good. Now, I can go ahead and change the design here if I want, the fonts, the colors, all of that. Um, metrics, I can adjust this information as well. Privacy paper and privacy contact, um, I can do these as well. And if you had signed up for any of the paid for plans, you'll have some other additional options as well. So for this, um, I do, yeah, this is actually available only in professional plans, so I can't put that in there, as well as the privacy paper. But everything else is good. And then you can always come in here and see your consent logs if you want as well. And you can adjust your account information if you want as well. So I'm all set. And now when I go to my homepage, you can see my privacy policy is right here. And I also have my privacy policy linked to my privacy policy page. And it did show a do not sell link, although there is not active. And so all the person has to do is check their options and click save my preferences and you're good to go. And that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Shoot me an email over at support at your .com or text me at 517-917-0582. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>